What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action this morning on top of the map in the red color playing as Ra! He is from the Toao clan and his name is Karuna GG! He is a player today in the Gaia color playing as the blue color and in what? What did I say? In the blue color playing as Gaia. His name is Top 20 Gaia. That's very fitting. He wants to be in a Top 20 player playing Gaia. Insane. The map is Ghost Lake and this game was played back in like 2005. This is, this is the ultimate. The ultimate in were the old experts better than the new experts. Were the old pros better than the new pros? And I'll have you know, I'll give you guys a history lesson. There was a time, a millennia ago, it's probably, probably not a millennia ago, there was a time in the distant past when Chrono JJ was the number one Age of Mythology, the Titans player in the world. Now, if that doesn't answer the question of are old experts or new experts better, I do not know what does. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Chrono JJ. He's my boy. He is my boy. And, uh, and, uh, and he's, a, he's an awesome individual. But uh, and just, look at, just look at this man. He's gonna show you. He's gonna show you how. He's gonna show you how Ra was played back in the day. He's already got his monument up. He's got his house up. He's got hunting dogs. Man, doing all the things. Goat scouting even. Look at this. Check it out. He's found his caribou. Woo! Woo! Man, after my own heart right now. Nothing negative to say. Top twenty guy on the other hand. Look at this. Two villagers on boar. Let's play a game. What is missing in this picture? Tell me, tell me what's missing in the picture. We can't move on until you've told me what's missing here. I, I want to believe that the Twitch viewers have got, have learned something from me. Thank you, Raptor. Thank you, Raptor. There is no hunting dogs. What's this? That's hunt. What's this? That is also hunt. Top 20 Gaia is going for a fast town center. This is the fastest town center you can possibly get as Gaia is very intelligent because if we've learnt anything from uh, Joe's games, uh, if we've learnt anything from the fabulous, the wonderful, the uh, Im uh, immutable, no, that's not right, is that the word? I don't know. If we've learnt anything from Joe's games, it's that economic upgrades are not as good as more villages. They're not as good as more villages. And how do you get more villages? You debt this town center really, really fast. And this was 2005. My my friends, my friends, 2005. This this player, this top 20 Gaia player was 20, oh sorry, 10 and more. Let's go with 10 years ahead of his time. He was 10 years ahead of his time. My god, my god, look at him go. And here I was being like, where's the hunting dogs? This guy is trash, but he is actually genius. Anyways, back over to Chrono JJ's perspective. He's taking none of this. He's just going past here. He's like, Gaia, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Gaia? <laughs> Gaia, I can make Sphinx. 
I can make Sphinx. I make Sphinx nowadays and I kill people with my Sphinx. I can make Sphinx back in 2005 and I can kill my guys too. Priest popping out here. And the third monument. This is max trolling. This is uh, this is like watching Chrono JJ, uh, Chrono JJ stream. He's like, viewers say, hey, do a five monument archaic age into Sphinx spam. And he's like, all right. And then his team loses because he's not advanced until eight minutes into the game. But he actually doesn't have very many villages on food right now, which does make me worried. Uh, so the options right here for Chrono, it's going to be uh, farms into Sphinx or Scarabs. Because uh, he's not going to be able to get... Well, he's not even going to be able to get... Heroic Gage. He could go farms into Patsukos. Oh, he's going classical fire! This guy's a maniac! He's a maniac! He does not care about anything right now. He's just like, I'm gonna make Sphinx, I'm gonna get Cryo Sphinx out, I'm gonna make Barracks, I'm gonna kill him. In one course track here, and there's the Economic Guild, there's the Hand Axe and the Big Axe. Still no hunting dogs. Now, this would have, this is, I actually don't think that this build order is, uh, is uh is bad i think this top 20 gaia player is onto something and i think uh this is going to be the new meta here for gaia 100 percent um but he definitely should have got uh should have invested into hunting dogs and um and potentially not not gone to this uh caribou seeing as he didn't get hunting dogs he should have waited on the caribou you can always wait on the caribou always you have all these go Eat them. Get get husbandry. Eat your goat, and then get hunting dogs and get your, your caribou if you need to. You know, because right now we need to get some mamilo out. We've got no no food. We've got six villages on wood, which means we have farms. We hate farms. But uh, Chrono JJ all over this top twenty guy player right now. Uh, throwing up the farms now. He's building up some slingers. This is going to be a pretty pretty brutal uh, spearman army here. Three barracks even. This is going to be a pretty big flood. Uh, that's uh, that's one farm that he could have built. One farm. One farm indeed. Farm coming up now for top 20 guy. Uh, he's got all these ghosts though. And no plow? No. No plow? But somehow. He's got the uh, he's got the moment alive, he's got the Oracle Hero out. Realize he didn't have to do too much. He's even got a Caladria out to heal up these uh, citizens. And the healing speed is pretty slow. Was it 15 HP per second uh, at at max speed, which is huge, but then you goes down to like 1.5 HP a second. I think it's 10% or 10 uh, divide uh, divide by 10. UJ? I don't know. I don't know what the what the actual thing is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Seems about right, but farm's going down. He's going. He's getting into that rain. That's actually huge. But no plow is really big. He's actually kind of smart here. Getting these farms up. This, this is this, this is a smart Atlantean player. I don't say this very often. I don't say this very often. This is a smart Atlantean player. But this is a smarter Chrono JJ. Going after the villages on the farms, even killing. The you can learn a thing or two from this guy. In this farm here, it costs 200 wood. And these, uh, these Sphinx, they pick it off pretty fast. And it's gonna be falling. Oh, he's trying to re- Oh, they, they, it, it rebuilds by itself. I see, I see, I see. Gaia does have regen. Very, very, very cute. Uh, top 20, uh, top 20 Gaia. Has some Terma coming out and some military barracks. Getting those Mermillo, whereas Chrono JJ on the other hand, he just rained. And he's making Slingers. Is there an armory somewhere? No. Excuse me. He's just having fun. Just build, build the Sphinx. Heal him up. There's there's now five Sphinx on the map currently. Five Sphinx. And a slinger running around being, uh, being a nuisance. There's this relic here which is actually pretty good. It's very... Oh, that's not the relic I thought it was. Never mind, it's trash. Uh, there is a relic here though which is pretty good. Arrows of the Alpha is always... Overlooked 20%. That's like having, um, that's like, that's like having bronze weapons on your towers. 
Except you could have bronze weapons as well. You know, iron weapons. Ah! Was the Sphinx onto the citizens yet again? Bunch of these all the time we're gonna get chewed up! Oh, I hate to see it! You can't be wasting these, these expensive, expensive units which actually do not encounter Cryo Sphinx at all, even if they're heroized, because they just dodge the arrows. Anyway, so I'm gonna run away for this time being. A bunch of slingers coming in. It's gonna be an interesting fight going after the hero right here. A carnivore coming in. Colonel JJ is gonna run away from that one quickly. Oh, he's gonna lose one anyways. Nope, does not quite lose it. A priest in here to snipe that carnivore. A couple more slingers gonna get picked off. These Sphinx running away right now. Still has access to an eclipse if he needs it. And the big thing that's gonna be happening for this top 20 guy player is there's 1400 gold left in this gold mine. And this army is not looking like it's going away. He needs to get a heroic age and get out Stim Valiant birds in order to beat these higher cryo sphinx or higher echo sphinx. I always say cryo sphinx, I don't know why. Don't ask me questions. The slingers, oh, the slingers hitting the Caladria. Caladria spam here. Gonna be tanking slinger shots, but the Oracle there is going off to the sphinx, and the sphinx is gonna be retreating. Yeah, you can't really run slingers away from Termon. It doesn't really work, but it's kind of getting away with it right now as the, uh, the Termo are chasing those Sphinx back to the base. Still five Sphinx on the map. Probably more coming in now for Chrono. Nope, still building Priest. It's got enough to build one. Um, definitely don't want to overdo it on those Priest. Um, and the Sphinx coming back in. They need to get healed back up. Uh, targeting down that Hero Oracle. There's still one Hero Mamilla left. The Termo getting picked off as well. It's Caladria going to be retreating. I love the Caladria spam in hindsight. And this is... a. Uh, this is not a not a silly thing to do at all because you gotta treat your army with care and respect, man. They deserve it. They put their lives on the line for you to win your virtual contest. Man, it's not even like you get anything for their citizens afterwards. It's like the game's over. You you won. Great. And then it's over. You get nothing for it, you know? So you may as well treat these guys with some with some love. Uh, get them get them nice and healthy, let them keep them alive, keep them around, you know. At least make it seem like you care about them, you know? Make it seem like, you know? You know? But, four Caladria. That's a lot of Caladria. That's that's still eight pop space. Maybe he'll kill them off later. <laughs> Just deletes them. Uh, so there's the town center now for Chrono JJ. And what is this nonsense? Oh, the utter carnage for this gold mine. Um, it's, it's, actually, it's, actually kind of, uh, it's actually kind of funny. Um, in, in a, not on extended edition, doesn't, this doesn't work on extended edition and it is a little bit of an exploit, but I don't think it's really been discussed as a bad thing or not. Guy can do this, which feels exploity. But what you can do is you can send a villager over here. You can chop down one tree. You can get a wall segment. You can double click onto that tree and you will be able to delete that tree. So you can actually delete these trees fairly quickly. Especially if you have uh, this upgrade. What's it called? Uh, this one. Laborers cut down trees in one swing. That adds over wet, wet, wet. If you get that upgrade, when you hunt, and then you uh, when you wall segment the, the walls, you can get into that. You can get into that gold mine. You can get in there. Don't say I, I didn't say anything. It wasn't me. I didn't tell you guys about it. It doesn't work on extended edition because they fixed that. <laughs> uh, but Chrono JJ has got a pretty terrifying army right now. You got three town centers. There's a fourth one over here for him to grab. Thank you so much for the prime, old boy sounds. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate that one, dude. Uh, one HP. Uh, a Sphinx over here needs a, needs a bit of love. Love him. Love him out. Bunch of buildings over here. How is how is this guy player? He's sitting at uh, 130 population. Going, he wants to get heroic age. Needs to get heroic age. It's vitally important for his survival to be heroic age right now. Uh, he's out of his gold. Actually, wait. No, he's still got a gold mine in the back. I tell a lie. He's totally fine. I mean, he doesn't need to get heroic age. And he needs to he needs to get his next mana up, and he needs to fill his population with Stymphalian birds, and then an arc is basically to snipe those priests. There's the uh, Stymphalian birds snipe the uh, the Sphinx, and and these Sphinx they do some damage, man. They got ten crush, fifteen point seven five hack damage. So when they bash away at those military bags, it's a lot of damage, multiple damages, multiple damages indeed. Temple coming up right now for Chrono JJ. 
who is going to be a spamming out those pressure. Got to remember, back in 2005, 2004, Terma were considered or thought to be a completely busted unit. True story. True story. They thought it was really good. Turns out they were wrong, but you know, what could you do? What can you do? Do all these Sphinx? There's a higher Echo Sphinx here. Uh, question is, how far off is Chrono JJ? He's got two Sphinx queued up right now. And he's coming in. He'll be sniping those hero, hero Terma. And the Eclipse comes in. Now he can just dodge arrows. You dodge arrows. He's lost one Sphinx. And the uh, Cephalion Bird's coming in. And the Hero Terma. The big conversion right now. As the Terma come in. And the car and the uh, and the and the Hara Co Sphinx gonna be retreating away because he does not need to bother with those. And the overkills right now from the Terma are absolutely gigantic. Sphinx coming back in, and they're gonna be going after this town this house, and the Sphinx get one shot there. You cannot be running these close to them right now. The uh, the micro from Chrono JJ on these slingers is really not working out for him as he's gonna have to retreat as these hero terma have done the work that they needed to do in order to hold on here now the sphinx are super quick 7.42 speed uh possibly the fastest unit um unit in the game when it's eclipsed right i could be wrong there could be something faster but not sure if it's possible i don't know i don't know and here we go Turn on moving forward. Idle Villager for Corona JJ. And the Barrack Spam is currently on its way as Sekhmet comes in. Corona JJ hated, hated Hathor with a with a passion. And he hated Mercenary as well. He said he tells stories about how he just won't build Mercenary, but I tell you what, if he gets in a if he gets in a pickle and needs to build a wonder on a certain Anatolia game, I tell you what, he will be making them mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> Sphinx, so uh, throwing away more Sphinx. He just needs the population, though. Throwing those away. He wants to get out some scarabs. He wants to get out some scarabs. This is what we want. Apparently, there's a Arano Speyer Boots of Kick Everything plus Mithril Horseshoes Contarius Hero. Ah, uh, I do not know. That's not a real unit. We don't. We've never seen that before. <laughs> this is a pretty terrifying army for Chrono. I don't see. Uh, I don't see much of an op option right now for top twenty guy player. These uh, these drags are gonna do nicely. Uh, top twenty guy player is looking to go to the Mythic Age. Actually, a good option for him would be Mythic Age here. Uh, one employed on this army will kill all of those slingers, and then. Get out some of those Argus, not Arcus, no, I'm not getting confused, Argus, uh, and they will uh, one hit those Sphinx like nobody's business. Uh, but moving back in yet again, nice micro from JJ, getting those uh, heroes to target down the Dryads, a Carnivora coming in, that will get picked off nice and easily, the Hero Mamilo is coming in as well. Just like basically a pure hero army right now for top 20 guy player, Chrono JJ, probably going to be getting Sling of the Sun fairly soon. Uh, very strong upgrade for the heavy slingers against those uh, those Manila gives them a bit of a bonus. But Mikol Strong coming up, and maybe thinking about getting Bone Bow as well for those uh, chariot archers. And now the scarabs coming out and just tanking so many hits from these hero units. They've got such a high pierce armor. It's kind of like a pretty smart counter to those hero turma. Uh, but those hero Manila are just doing absolute work right now. And somehow this top 20 Gaia player is managing to make a push in here. But it's looking at Chrono JJ, going to be able to hold here. However, Chrono JJ not actually taking a good look at this gold mine over here. Keeping the top 20 guy player in the game by bashing his head against the uh, the, the uh, buildings of top 20 guy, who is currently going through Atlas. He's decided to change his mind. Thought about Hecate for a second there, but realized, you know what, an employee could probably help me out right now. Uh, so we're probably going to be seeing these slingers that look so very, very healthy right now, but so very, very unhealthy in the coming future. However, JJ, somehow, somehow not advancing. He's just spending all of his resources on, on stuff right now. There's a lot of villages on those resources. No market up just yet. 
so he's not going to be able to get something to the edge. No market for trade route either, which is a bit of a surprise. But he's just, I mean, he, he seems like he just doesn't have care in the world. He's going to be pushing in. There's a war elf going to be taken down the temple and going to be going out to the hometown center. Uh, and potentially kill that down center before a guy, a top 20 guy gets to the uh, the mythic age and it turns out that's exactly what happened town center died before the mythic age happened there you go gg well played by corona jj top 20 guys built here was actually super interesting i think there's some tweaks that could be done but no hunting dogs no hunting dogs bar second town center <coughs> i think there could be there could be room for a delayed hunting dogs so you have so you have your goat, you have your berries. Eat those first. Maybe not your goat. Go to the berries first, get your town center, then get hunting dogs. Straight away. As soon as you can after the town center is going up. I think that's a vibe. I think that could be a I think that could be a thing. Uh it could be a thing. I'm not sure. I have to do some tests. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this game. I sure did. Going to JJ in his ultimate form back in 2005 for your entertainment. Happy days.